Here, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gergely Takac. My colleagues and I are from the Slovak University of Technology in Bratislava, and this paper is titled Bot Shield, an open source miniature ball and beam device for control engineering education. You could ask, am I in the wrong session? Because this session is about IoT and Industry 4. Well, no, we are in the wrong session. And the reason for this is our paper has been originally submitted to a special session on open hardware technologies, which was very fitting. However, this session did not run. So if you feel that this paper is out of place, that is actually the reason. Now, let me get back to the uh, original topic. What is even a ball on beam device? A ball on beam device is very commonly used in control engineering and mechatronics education. This tool is essentially, as the name suggests, a beam which can be balanced and its inclination changed using a motor of some sorts and a ball is freely running on its surface. Now, when you put some sort of input in, into the motor, the inclination of this plane changes, so the ball freely moves. It is an unstable system, it is a nonlinear system, so it's very fitting for educational purposes. So what can you do if you would like to equip your research or control laboratory with such a ball on beam device? Well, one route is to buy it commercially. There are several companies making and selling uh, ball on beam devices. These devices are well-made precision laboratory instruments. They uh, come with good software and even documentation and full courses. However, they are also very expensive, usually large and delicate. So you cannot just give them away to students for homeworks and other sorts of, of uh, projects. Now, they also require uh, closed source software, usually MATLAB, LabVIEW, and some accessories in the form of amplifiers or a control computer. In our opinion, the implementation or microcontroller units is very underrepresented as most of these devices require either a personal computer or some sort of proprietary device to run the control code. An alternative route to buying commercial equipment is to build them yourself. These devices are cheap, however, they are one of a kind improvised designs that are local to a laboratory or a small research team. They are usually fragile, sensitive setups, and they are not very well documented. Moreover, it's impossible to create teaching materials that are valid across several universities as an open course. Some of these devices are even made from cardboard or Legos. So is there a middle ground between buying well-made commercial equipment, which is expensive, or building your own, which is cheap, but also fragile and one of a kind? We think yes. And the solution can come in the form of an open source hardware project built on the open source Arduino hardware devices, which are used for prototyping microcontroller applications. These devices are cheap, open source, easy to buy. They are standardized and come with a free integrated development environment, IDE, have a great community and an abundance of learning materials. What is most important, the hardware itself can be also expanded by so-called shields. And in this system, the Arduino or the computational device takes a so-called shield, which is just a printed circuit board with some components and thus you get an uh, entirely different device with expanded possibilities. Based on these ideas, we have created our own initiative called Automation Shield. The goal of Automation Shield is to create novel tools for control engineering and mechatronics education, which will implement a lab experiment on a single Arduino expansion shield, essentially creating a tiny control or mechatronics laboratory that fits in the palm of your hand. These devices shall be cheap, open source, possible to build at home even by beginners, standardized, and come with a free software library that is compatible to the Arduino IDE. In this paper, we introduce a so-called pop shield. The pop shield 
is a bull on beam device that fits on a single Arduino expansion shield. The box shield is actuated by a servo motor. The servo motor changes the inclination of a tube and there's a ball running freely inside this tube. The position of the ball is measured by a laser distance sensor connected to the microcontroller prototyping board. Our goal is not to create yet another implementation of this very well-known experimental system. Instead, we offer an open source solution that can be made, modified and improved upon by anyone. Therefore, you can download the editable schematic files from our website, along with the printed circuit board that can be sent to production. Of course, we also provide the 3D models for 3D printing the superstructure of the box shield. In addition to these, we also provide the full bill of materials containing every mechanical and electronic component that is necessary to build your very own box shield. These components are common, easy to find, and can be sourced globally. The total cost of material, excluding labor, is $10. The building procedure itself can be an educational experience in itself, and for this price, we can claim that it is truly a take-home experiment. Besides the open source hardware, we also provide a simplified application programming interface known as an API. The goal of this API is to create an abstraction layer between the hardware functionality and the control application, so students can get to creating their very own feedback applications quickly. This API has been written in the C, C++ language for the Arduino IDE and is a part of the Automation Shield library, which is a larger repository holding APIs for other devices as well. The API is included in the Bob Shield object. The begin method can be used to initialize the entire device. The calibration method can be used to initiate self-calibration of the device. Then the position of the ball from the sensor can be read by the sensor read method. The position of the servo motor, angle of the servo motor can be entered by the actuator write method. And an outside reference level can be read by the reference read method. Besides the API, our library contains typical classroom examples such as for system identification or feedback control. The code snippets shown on this slide show the PID control of the box shield so that it follows the given reference. The experiment can be watched from the Arduino IDE, so no auxiliary equipment or software is necessary. The screenshot from the Arduino IDE serial Plotter is shown on this slide, demonstrating how the ball follows the given reference. Of course, data can be exported to other tools such as MATLAB. These show the results of tracking the ball to the given reference positions by the Bob Shield device. And we believe that these results are very decent for an experimental system that can be made for less than $10. Even though the documentation of the Bob Shield is available online with all the necessary files to make one, we consider this as a prototype at this moment. Work continues on the new version of the Bob Shield. We would like to create a better and more robust hardware we would like to add more APIs, for example, for MATLAB, Simulink, and Python, and of course, creating more examples such as for system identification or feedback control, including LQ, model predictive control, and others. Please visit our website at www.automationshield.com to learn about the other types of devices created within our initiative.
That is all. Thank you very much for your attention and please feel free to contact me.